People have been discussing division by zero for over 2,000 years. Aristotle got it wrong in 300 BC when he said division by zero is impossible. I'll put an end card to my video on Aristotle and a link in the description below. Patrick Soupies got it right in 1957 when he definitively proved that division by zero is possible. Patrick Soupies was an American philosopher who set out to prove that mathematical physics is logically consistent. He noticed that many physical formulas banned division by zero and he wanted to know if that was a logically sound thing to do. He discovered, using the logics available in 1957, that it isn't. There is no logically sound way to ban division by zero. This puzzled him until he figured out why, and the reason is that division by zero is logically possible. Patrick went on to find one way of doing it, and his method of dividing by zero is used to design computers today. It was used to design the computer I'm recording this video on. It was used to design the computers you're watching this video on. So division by zero has been with us and used since 1957. Let me know in the comments below or on the community tab if you'd like me to make a video about Patrick Soupies. I'll put a link to my journal article on Patrick Soupies in the description below, and I'll also put links to my Google Scholar and Wikipedia pages, so you can easily track down my scholarly publications on Division by Zero. But don't believe everything you read on Google Scholar or Wikipedia. In 1991, I married the departmental secretary in the computer science department of an English university, where I was a tenured lecturer. One year later, I earned my PhD for discoveries in projective geometry. Projective geometry has been around in one form or another for about 800 years. The Islamic world got there long before Christendom. For the last 200 years, people have known that projective geometry defines the number infinity as 1 divided by 0 and defines the number minus infinity as minus 1 divided by 0. In 1997, when my PhD supervisor Jeff Sullivan died, I discovered that projective geometry defines the number 0 divided by 0. I call this number nullity in a Royal Society workshop I dedicated to his memory. In 2004, I became the first chartered scientist registered by BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. Three years later, in 2007, I gave a talk on my transreal arithmetic at Essex University. Norbert Falker was in the audience and he offered to do a machine proof of the consistency of transreal arithmetic. Norbert is a very formal man, but Andrew Adams, in my own university, translated between Norbert's precise questions and my intuitive answers. The same year, we published a machine proof of division by zero. This is the most detailed kind of proof it's possible to have. You can download the Isabel Hall proof files from an archive and run the proof yourself. I'll put links to the paper and archive in the description below. Afterwards, Norbert confessed to me he had expected to prove that transreal arithmetic is inconsistent and was surprised I had produced a consistent arithmetic of division by zero. He somewhat taciturnly admitted, you are some kind of mathematician, though I prefer to phrase it, you are some kind of mathematician. That paper attracted worldwide attention. I was flamed by 100,000 people, 1,000 people emailed me, and a few hotheads threatened to kill me. Fortunately, being flamed on the internet is better than being burned at the stake, and I just carried on with my work. But this was the moment that some anti-intellectuals started obstructing my research and publication, even going so far as to commit scientific fraud in a mostly successful attempt to suppress it. Well done, guys. After this, Walter Gomid, a professor of philosophy at the Federal University of Mato Grosso, Brazil, emailed me and we started talking online. In 2013, I was awarded a Certificate of Appreciation by BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT. Walter was interested in paraconsistent logics that support reasoning over inconsistencies, but there was a technical difficulty with them. It's mighty hard to give a consistent definition of a logic that allows inconsistency. But there are methods for turning logic into arithmetic. As transreal arithmetic was already proved to be consistent, this left the much easier task 
of turning the handle and cranking out yet another arithmetization. Walter's idea was to use transreal arithmetic to unify many logics, including paraconsistent ones. He wanted to use infinity to mean absolutely true, negative infinity to mean absolutely false, zero to mean equally true and false, and critically, which no other arithmetic can do, he wanted to use nullity to mean neither true nor false. We published a paper on this in 2014. Before the paper was published, Walter gave a seminar in Rio de Janeiro. In the audience was a first year mathematics PhD student by the name of Thiago dos Reis. Following the seminar, Thiago told his research supervisor he wanted to give up his research topic and take up trans mathematics instead. His supervisor agreed and the two of them published papers on trans mathematics in Portuguese, while Thiago joined me in publishing in English. In 2015, working with Thiago, I extended Newtonian physics so that it operates at singularities. In 2014 and 2016, Thiago and I won a couple of best paper prizes. This is, pretty much, the lowest level of scientific prize, but few scientists win even this much. Thiago is now a professor of mathematics in Rio. In 2017, UNESCO hosted the first international conference on transmathematics. Conferences have taken place every year or two since. I'll put a link to the current call for papers and the past proceedings in the description below. This is a picture of Walter speaking at the conference, and here is Thiago having lunch with me. On the 1st of January 2018, I founded the Transmathematica Journal and we published the first paper 18 months later in June 2019. I'll put a link to the journal and the first paper in the description below. If you have anything interesting to say, do submit a paper to the journal. Most of Transmathematica's authors are professional academics, but a very few amateurs have cleared the hurdle of scientific publishing. The journal gives new authors and non-native speakers of English a lot of help, and we offer discounts or waive publication fees for impecunious authors or authors from countries on the Royal Society's Developing World Access list. The journal is not related to the Royal Society, but we may as well follow their good example. In 2020, Thiago and I published our best paper yet. We showed that when Richard Dedekind formalised real arithmetic in the 19th century, he hid three numbers. These were the numbers minus infinity, plus infinity and nullity. When these three numbers are put back into Dedekind's arithmetic, his real arithmetic turns into my transreal arithmetic. Dedekind guaranteed that real arithmetic and all its developments, including physics and computer science, are guaranteed to fail on division by zero. But my transreal arithmetic removes that guarantee of failure. That is as good as it gets. If you take up trans mathematics or any trans science, you are not guaranteed to fail. I still do research in trans mathematics, but I think my time is better spent persuading the world it is a good idea to divide by zero. Subscribe to Trans Mathematica, learn how to divide by zero, and ask questions in the comments on videos or on the community tab. You may as well do it now, while I'm alive, because it will be mighty hard to ask me a question when I'm dead. Subscribe now.